Hello, gamers. <sighs> Today we're going to be making a reaction video, and I'm going to be reacting to Bluetube, Bill Burr on Woman, reaction. Let's get right into it. All right. Hey everyone, it's Blue. Make sure Hello. you like and subscribe and go follow me on Instagram. My name's Where I Get Some Honey, and there's a link okay. down below. Today I'm going to this be doing a promo. review you with can get Conan promo. and Bill on Bill Burr Thinks Women Are Overrated. Okay. Your show, F is for Family, I relate to it because it's about parenting in the 70s, and that's, you know, that was when I was parented mm -hmm. like you. What do you think of parents now? How do you compare them to parents in the 70s? Oh, it's just completely, the kids have so much power. It's like ridiculous. Like half of these kids, I'm like, I look and I just have what happened to me. And I'm like looking at a kid and be like, this kid's about ready to get punted across the grocery store. And it just never Dude, happens. They're going to kill right. They just, they just don't get hit. That's, and I think that's right. You're that's mad. Free. You're mad. Wait a minute. I can't believe it. She's laughing. She's laughing. She's laughing. You're mad that children are not What a are crazy being, girl. Uh, She's this laughing at these children hitting jokes. Half of it, it was just the book. It was just your dad was acting like he was going to do it. He never yeah. did it, but your mother did. And because, <laughs> because she was, no, because she was a woman, it was like, okay. Because yeah. it was like, hey, you, know, you let a girl beat you up. You, know, you kind of felt emasculated. Yeah. We had a she didn't like, like that I, one. Actually, a lot of the stuff that I look at from when I was a kid that actually kind of made sense in a way is now would now be considered like abuse, I guess. Like when I was a kid, if you didn't finish mm -hmm. your supper, as we called it. Supper, yeah. Yeah, my mother was just like, well, you're going to finish. You're gonna, um, she would just wrap it in cellophane and you just picked up where you left off for breakfast. Like <laughs> like a blue collar job. Like you could take the shovel out of the oh, hole. Oh, she's laughing at blue collar workers now. <laughs> so, yeah, I remember one night we had cute. Quit picks. laughing. Which is like one of the toughest it's pieces of meat. I don't know if you guys, everything's so like Asian infused, Wagyu beef. Everybody's eating that crap really? now. But oh, cube that. steak was like, they had literally had to hit it with a hammer to make it like edible. And uh, so we were having cube steaks. And I forget, okay. my little brother was still in a high chair and he couldn't finish his. So my mother goes, all right, well, you're just going to have to eat it for breakfast. And that was like eight hours away, which was like half his life. So he's like, all right, I'm going to take that deal. Dude, oh it's because he so lived for a short time. So That's we, I remember we were having waffles. He my lived for a shorter Sunday time. Breakfast. So we That's had all these waffles, really eggs, good. bacon, this whole layout. My brother was looking at half-eaten cube steaks and a little mound of green bean casserole. And he goes, so he looked at my mom. He goes, mom, can I have a waffle? And she goes, no, you got to finish your supper. He's like, well... After I finish my waffle, uh, supper, then can I have a waffle? She goes, no, that is your breakfast. And he goes, oh, mom, I hate you. And my dad, without looking up, took a full glass of milk and threw it in his face. <laughs> oh, my God, I can't believe that oh she can't God. believe that. This is crazy. This she is can't believe me. it. What she can't. What do you want everyone today to have? I can't believe it that she can't. As good as you have. <laughs> No, but it was kind of funny. I just, we know it's hilarious was my mother just popped up and just immediately started cleaning up and my dad just kept eating. Like he didn't like, oh my no, God. like the roles were defined she's, back then. Now the guy, oh my God. She can't handle the misogynistic not even a bit. He's just like, I got some family story for you. Oh my, oh my God. gosh. She's so naturally hilarious. <laughs> she finds him, him so like, funny. Not even make it's... eye contact with his kid and he's just like, but, like that milk. And chucks it on oh my his face. <laughs> oh my I'm gosh, it's so to funny. Out. I think I like it more that it wasn't over exaggerated of how the family freaks out. Like, no, he basically doesn't mm -hmm. even make eye contact, just with no hesitation, throws the milk on his child. And she can't then believe it. The mother, with no hesitation, like it's happened before, just goes and cleans it up. It's just so funny. What a different way of living. I don't even know if other people's families are like that. She can't I even relate to it. I do kind of agree with Bill Burr. I mean, he pointed out that kids nowadays do not grow up the same way the kids did like 30 years ago or 40 mm -hmm. years ago. And, Damn right. You know, they're looked at as a lot more fragile than they were before. Kids even played outside before a lot more than they do now. Mm -hmm. And you would get like a scraped knee or fall off your little go-kart or whatever it would be outside. You'd play outside on regular scooters that weren't motorized. And yeah. now kids usually play inside or inside or maybe on like their tablet or computer or something. I think that people kind of describe That's growing so up back up. then like 
you know, some 40 year olds now will say stuff like you were lucky to get to play outside on the weekend, but all your homework always had to be done. You always had to eat all of your food or you would be punished or like he said, have to eat it the next day. Whereas now it almost seems like kids in a weird way kind of try to debate. I don't know. It's just a little bit maybe more lenient in society. So not as like a cultural thing, but just society as a whole kind of has moved a little bit more in a sensitive direction. She's making some very great points. At least with how you handle children and combatively what you do and how you raise them. I mean, even yep. participation trophies are things that people will make fun of, especially I mean, older generations. It's crazy. That I can't kids believe she's coming up with all because this. kids can't be left out, even if they don't win. People everybody need has to, hear to get this. some type of ribbon or participation trophy for just showing up, and it's like almost frowned upon to give first place, second place, third place, and then no ribbons after that because kids all need some type of validation. <laughs> no, like the roles were defined back then. Now it's like a new the type guy of thinking. has to throw the milk. He has to clean it up while telling his wife she's brave for just sitting there. Like, whatever that is. Did you hear it? He oh, said something oh, about a woman oh, and she's an, oh my God, God she's a woman, so that's the joke. Oh my. Overrated, right? We, we went from, wait, wait, what? Wait, we went, wait, 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 we went oh from not God. listening to them to now it's just, it's just, it, you know, it's just, it's, it's ridiculous. Like that believe women, it's like all of them. <laughs> 85%, oh, now she's making 87%, a weird, oh, all right? <laughs> but that last 13% that keys your car, lights your shit on fire, yes. and puts a family pet in a, in a pot of stew. I agree with how much she agrees. Who put a pet in a That's pot right. of stew? I agree Glenn with her. Close. Okay. Yeah. 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 And here yeah. comes the other. Okay, all right. I think I it was a separate video. You know what I, I, miss, I can't believe I miss, this is yeah, one video. Parenting and evidence. <laughs> Those are the things that I missed from my childhood. Evidence. Yeah. You mean due people, process? He tried right. not to laugh Somebody at his own says joke. something happened, and then someone else goes, "Well, I said it happened this way." I like can't believe she caught that. Shows, and they had to this figure it out. Right? Yeah, that doesn't exist now on on social media. It's just right. like it's just frontier justice. Right? You feel how nervous everybody just got in she here? The fact that I just that. suggested that there should be due process. She's going crazy right now. This guy's talking crazy, man. Did he just <laughs> join ISIS? <laughs> <laughs> he looks so bored with him. This, so is, this is what this is. No, what I'm saying. She loves his man. The that they I love agreed, it. But they, I love they it. didn't agree. It's so when great. It counted. We can add. We'll digitally add woos. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> we have the woo machine. Oh, uh, so <laughs> you are way too angry. Fifty is still relatively young. You have the, the anger of, of a 110-year-old man. <laughs> we just oh, talked about these this. telephones. We really did. Gang bone gang. Conan gets I, what I, I was cannot. saying. Also, I totally did not realize that there was like a whole other human right next to Bill. Like, I would have never even noticed that they didn't cut. It's like a person sitting next to him didn't realize. That's so oh wacky, gosh. Blue. Oh I think God. I like the most that, that he so almost wacky. kind of did this lip thing, like... Like he was going to laugh at his own joke, but then for the solid rest of the whole bit that they were going for, uh -huh. that sounded made up to me at the top of his head. So he must just be funny. Like he's just a funny person. I agree with he what you're saying. Like, mm. I would have said the same thing. I just love the literal amount of effort that he even looked like he put into it, which was almost 4%. He was wow. just, you know, that's how it is. Almost 4%. What an estimate. He didn't move five seconds. What an estimate. Mattered. This girl like, his is little, on like, the points ball. And the things that he points out and his facial expressions, all of it. The whole combination of Bill Burr is just amazing. I'm such a fan of him. He's so hilarious, even naturally. And he's so not afraid to say what things a greatest, that greatest make people assessment. kind of uncomfortable. Conan was, wait, 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 wait. And he just like leaves his eyes squint because I think he wants to pretend that it didn't happen on his show where he says women are overrated. Conan was like, Cut that out. But Bill just How wacky care. was that? He's like, yeah, Dude, overweight. That was Remember zany. Women, like all of them. I mean, nowadays. Don't that was personality. Zane. For watching me throw milk on the kid, and I still have to clean it up. Oh my God. Spontaneity. He's so hilarious. I really like that he doesn't need approval like a lot of other artists, but yeah, a lot of comedians. You need that type of you agree with me, you get it. And he doesn't really pull or reach for that. He kind of says it, and if you agree with <sighs> wow. me, do, what and an if assessment. you don't, then you don't. What? And he even points out how they were oddly silent and not very responsive. And he kind of teases that about the audience. And he's like, see, see how I just talked about due process and you all are acting like I just joined ISIS? Ridiculous. 
and then he just moves on. What I really admire about him is he doesn't stray away from his stance and what he thinks, and he doesn't seem to lose confidence even though it doesn't look like he necessarily has a whole audience backing him and what he's saying. I mean, he's talking about something that should kind of be like common sense in a way because it's due process. It's something that's a thing that exists for a reason that we that's all right it does exist and due process that, exists so and she is just nailing them key points i mean i here. even believe that there should be kind of a process to figure out things and see what happened and what didn't happen and whatever. and that because process is swings this do and do the due process of yeah people who stand behind it mm -hmm. things start getting kind of uncomfortable and shifty and people just kind of go with the flow at that point and it's like a ball that everybody just gets behind I just think that it's important to preserve the need for some type of evidence because if you don't, then all situations start muddying together and start all looking the same. And then that risks some of them and all of them becoming kind of shady. And it starts becoming even harder to differentiate the real victims from people who aren't. And it makes it really hard for real victims to get actual justice. All these situations are going to start blending in and looking alike, and I'm just really worried that the pendulum can start swinging back in this direction, where nothing's taken seriously because of it. What a great I actually saw viewpoint that has never the other been told day before. That really Not freaked once. Me out. I've never heard just this to kind type of sum stuff. Up what I'm this saying, is next level the way, shit. Someone said, "I would rather believe a liar than a rapist." So case closed. Believe all victims, and that just freaked me out. I mean, you're literally giving a ticket for somebody to just claim something and we're just going to believe them because that's what we're doing now. I know I don't think that's right. And that's really scary. <sighs> Listening it is, is very spooky. different from just going full swing on board of believing you can listen and not just, you know, there's a difference. And I like that Bill Burke can talk about something that's very like, and she pointed out, she pointed out and make it funny. Fucking I mean, difference, dude. To me so far, and there is no I way. And I think that we all could use something and someone who can make things. There's that are no way this chick just pointed out the fucking difference. I just missed a few crucial seconds. I'm gonna go back, but my god, I broke my camera because of that. Everything's all conflundered now. What am I supposed to do? I can't believe she noticed the difference. Wow. Well, we only got a minute left, so let's just keep on rolling. Everything he says is funny to me so far, and I just really like that. And I think that we all could use something and someone who can make things that are supposed to be uncomfortable funny. Because if we didn't have that, then everything would just be a serious, uncomfortable situation and topic. Okay, but that's going to be it for today, guys. So make sure you like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. And also check out my Patreon. It's only $5 a month. And you get an extra video every week. And you can also participate in poll. What a video. What a video. My God. My God. I mean, did you see how funny she found Bill Burr? That? It was, it was so, f I, she thought Bill Burr was funny. And then he made a joke where he talked trash on women. <laughs> She's a woman and she laughed. <laughs> oh, God, dude. Oh. I mean, I almost lost my shit when she found out the key difference. Like, I really almost lost it. But I'm glad I got to watch such a great video. So if you liked it, comment, subscribe. Duh. Idiots. Bye.